hooked on homemade happiness welcome back to my channel and welcome to the mandala summer cardigan crochet along this video will be the first video of four videos this summer where we will create this mandala summer cardigan so here on the back of our cardigan you, cardigan, you can see the mandala part of our sweater for part one of the crochet along we're going to be starting with her mandala and working to about here and then in the part two we will finish our mandala and start creating our square shape in part three we will complete the finished square for our cardigan and then in part four we will do our sewing and working on a little bit of a collar and the tie front this is a cocoon style sweater which means that it does start as a rectangle or a square and then it's folded over and sewn to create this sweater um, shape. It is a loose fitting cardigan. The great thing about this is at the very end when we're repeating the final rounds for our square, if you want it to be a little bit looser or bigger, you can just continue adding that final round until your square is the size that you are looking for. And here is the color palette that I will be using for this video. I use this um, Kotlin yarn from We Crochet. It is a DK weight cotton and linen blend. You can use any DK weight yarn that you would like for this pattern. I especially like um, this cotton linen blend. It's so lightweight and so perfect for summer. And because of the cotton, you could wear this at the beach or by the pool, and it should be very durable for you in the summer months. So these are the colors that I used, and I will have all of these listed down below. Down below, the blog post for the written pattern is linked. I highly recommend you take a look at that, and you can get an idea of how much yarn you'll need for the particular size that you're making, and that'll have all of the measurements and the final stitch counts for each individual size. It'll also have the gauge swatch information listed in that as well. For the mandala, you will need um, one skein for the first four colors that you use, and then you will need two of the skeins for the last two colors of the mandala. And then check below for how many skeins you will need of the final color for the size that you are making. We will also be using a G um, four millimeter crochet hook or whatever hook you um, use to obtain gauge. So here I'm going to get started with my mandala with my most center color. So I'm starting with this flamingo color for the center. I will start by getting my yarn on my hook. And I'm going to begin with a chain three. And now I'm going to slip stitch to the very first chain here to make a circle. So I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain. And then join there to make a circle. So here you could see my circle right there, and that is where I'm going to be working round one. So I'm going to start round one with a chain two. This chain two does not count as a stitch. Now I'm going to work 12 double crochet in this circle here that I just created with my chain three. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into that space here. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two for my first double crochet. I'm going to do that 11 more times for a total of 12. So here I have my 12 double crochet and I'm going to join to the first double crochet here with a slip stitch. And there is round one and I have 12 double crochet. Now for round two, I'm going to be increasing. So I'm going to work two stitches in each stitch. I'm going to start with, I'm going to single crochet and front post double crochet in each stitch here. 
So I'm going to start round two with a chain one. And I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch as my join here. Now I'm still working in the same stitch. I'm going to front post double crochet in the same double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook around the entire post of this stitch. I'm going to go towards the back, around the whole post, and back out towards me. So I'm pushing that post to the front. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop, and then finish the double crochet like normal. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over pull through two so that was my increase made I have two stitches in that one double crochet now here is my next double crochet it's kind of hiding if you just let your front post double crochet sit you can see how it kind of hides the next stitch here I'm going to move it over just a tad so that I could see it and again I'm going to single crochet and front post double crochet in the same stitch I'm going to single crochet here. Now, around this entire post, I will front post double crochet. So, yarn over in between the stitches, insert the hook, push it out the other side of the post, pushing that entire post towards the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then finish out that double crochet. And then I'm going to repeat that again. Here's my next double crochet right here, Oops. where I will single crochet. And then front post double crochet. And I will repeat that all the way around in each double crochet single crochet and front post double crochet around that same stitch and repeat that all the way around so here I have finished up round two I repeated that all the way around and I have a total of 24 stitches I have 12 single crochet and 12 front post double crochet around and I'm going to join to this first single crochet here with a slip stitch I have 24 stitches for round two. Now to start round three, it's gonna be another um, round with single crochets and front post double crochets. I'm gonna start with a chain one. Chain one does not count as a stitch. So my first single crochet is gonna go in the same stitch as my join here. So there's my first single crochet. And now on my next stitch, I'm going to single crochet and front post double crochet in the next. So here's my next stitch, which is that front post double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook and do a single crochet. Now I'm going to front post double crochet around the post. So again, I'm going to insert my hook and bring it around the entire post of the stitch and double crochet. And again, when you do that front post double crochet, you can see it kind of hides the next stitch, so we want to move it over, and there's my single crochet. I'm going to single crochet in the single crochet, just one. Now here's my front post double crochet, where I will single crochet and front post double crochet in this same stitch. So there's my single crochet, and then I'm going to front post double. And then again, I'm going to do one single crochet in the next. And then single crochet and front post double crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet in the next and then single crochet and front post double crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way around your circle. So here is round three and you should have 36 stitches for round three. 
I'm going to join to the first single crochet here with a slip stitch. Now for round four, I actually want to start here in this front post double crochet. So instead of cutting my yarn, I'm just going to slip stitch right on over there. So here I have a single crochet I'm slip stitched to. Here's the next one. So I'm going to insert my hook into the next single crochet and just slip stitch. So pull that yarn through the yarn on the hook. And then here's the next front post double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook there, grab my yarn, and pull it through. So now I am beginning my round right, right where I want to begin in the front post double crochet. So I'm going to chain two. This chain two does not count as a stitch. So I'm going to work in the same stitch right here. I'm going to make three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all in the same stitch. So here I have my first double crochet. One, two, and three. And I'm going to chain one and then three double crochet in that same stitch again. Now I'm going to skip two stitches. So here's my next two and then single crochet in the next. So that's the next front post double crochet. So I'm going to skip the two single crochets and single crochet in the front post double. Now I'm going to skip the next two single crochets. And again, I'm going to do this same three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in the next front post. I'm going to skip two, three double crochet here, all in the same stitch, one, two and three and then chain one and then three double crochet again and again i'm going to skip two and single crochet in the next so that would be the next front post double crochet and again, I'm going to skip two and then make the same three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet here in the next front post double. There's three, chain one, and then three more. And then I'm going to skip the next two and single crochet in the next. And we are going to repeat that all the way around your circle. So here I have finished round four and I ended this round with a single crochet and I will join to the first double crochet here with a slip stitch. You should have 36 double crochet. You should have six of these shell type shapes on your circle. So now after round four, we are all done with this color. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that color off and pull that through. And now I'm going to bring in my second color for round five. And I'm going to be joining my second color to a chain one space at the top of one of these little shells. So I'm going to insert my hook into a chain one space here. I'm going to grab my yarn. I'm going to pull it through that chain one space to join. And I'm going to chain one and then single crochet in the chain one space. So here I have my first color. So I have a single crochet in that chain one. Now I'm going to skip these three double crochets. I'm going to work in this single crochet here in my valley. And I'm going to do three treble, chain two, three treble. 
So for a treble, I'm going to yarn over twice, insert my hook into the single crochet, skipping all these doubles, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do two more for a total of three. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that single crochet, and pull up a loop. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that stitch, and pull up a loop. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do three more treble in that same space. One. Two. Three. And now here I'm going to skip these next three double crochet. I'm going to single crochet in this chain one space at the top here. And that is going to be my repeat for round five. So again, I'm going to skip these three double crochet. I'm going to work in the single crochet here. I'm going to do three treble, chain two, three treble in this single crochet. One, two, and three, chain two, and then three again in that same space. And then now skip these three double crochet and single crochet in this chain one space here. And repeat that all the way around. So here I have repeated that all the way around for round five and I have 36 treble crochet. I'm going to join to the first single crochet here with a slip stitch. And again, I have 36 treble crochet for round five. Now for round six, I'm going to start with a chain two, and I will three double crochet in this same stitch. So in the single crochet, make three double crochet. Now I will chain three. and single crochet in the chain two space here. Chain three. And I'm gonna skip these three treble and three double crochet in this single crochet. Chain three, single crochet in the chain two space. Chain three, skip the three treble and three double crochet in the single crochet. And this will be the repeat all the way around. Chain three, single crochet in the chain two space. So repeat this all the way around. Chain three, three double crochet in the single crochet. Chain three, single crochet in the chain two space. So we're skipping all of the trebles and we're not working any stitches into the trebles, just these single crochet 
and the chain two space. So repeat that all the way around. So here I have finished round six and I'm ending with that single crochet and a chain three. So now I'm going to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. And here in round six, you should have 18 double crochet and six single crochet. So here for round seven, I'm going to start with a chain two. And I'm going to work two double crochet in each of these three double crochets. So here I'm starting the very first stitch as my chain two. One, two, and then two in the next. And then two in the next. And now I will chain two. And in this chain three space, I'm going to single crochet. I'm just going to insert my hook into that entire space. Chain two. And then single crochet in this chain three space here. Skip that single crochet. And chain two. So that'll be my repeat all the way around. I'm going to two double crochet in these next three doubles. There's two in the first one. And there's two in the second one. And there's two in the third one. Now I'm going to chain two, single crochet in this chain three space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain three space, skip over the single crochet, chain three in the next, I'm sorry, single crochet in the next chain three space, and chain two. So that is your repeat all the way around two double crochet in the next three double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two and single crochet in the chain three space and repeat that all the way around for round seven. So here I have finished round seven and I ended with that chain two and I'm going to join to my first double crochet here where is it? There it is. With a slip stitch. And that is it for this second color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this second color and pull that yarn through. And I'm going to be joining my third color. And in round seven, you should have 36 double crochet and 12 single crochet. So here I have my next color and I'm going to be joining to one of the chain two spaces. So in each chain two space section you have three of them. We're going to be joining to the center of the three chain two spaces. So just one of the ones that hops over the single crochet. So here in the center chain two space is where I'm going to join my next color. Pull that through. I'm going to start with a chain two and a double crochet just to kind of get that color secure. Okay. So in this chain two space, we're going to be making a shell with a sequence of double crochets and chain ones. So I have my first double crochet here, and then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to repeat that until I have six double crochet. So I'm going to double crochet again. So there's two, chain one, double crochet again, it's three, chain one, double crochet again is four, chain one, five double crochet, chain one, and six double crochet. 
So here is my shell for this round. I have six double crochet, and in between each double crochet, I have a chain one. Now I'm going to chain one again, and I'm going to skip this single crochet and chain two here, and I'm going to be single crocheting in these double crochets. I'm going to single crochet in the next double crochet. And then two single crochet in the next. So one, and then again, another single crochet in that same stitch. Two. I will do one single crochet in the next. And two single crochet in the next. One. Two. One single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochet here in the next. So, this is a repeat all the way around where you'll do this shell section with the double crochets and chain ones, and then you will single crochet across the double crochets, alternating between one single crochet and two single crochet across these six. So here again, I'm going to skip this chain two and work in this center chain two space here where I will double crochet and then chain one double crochet for a total of six. I'm going to repeat that until I have six double crochet in this space. Here I have six double crochets with chain ones in between each one. Chain one, and then alternate those one single crochet and two single crochets across these six stitches. So in the next double crochet, work one single crochet, and then two in the next. And repeat that across these six stitches. One single crochet, and then two in the next. One single crochet, and two in the next. Chain one. And repeat that all the way around. So here I am I'm at the end of round eight, and I'm going to join, I'm ending with Oops, chain one, there we go. Ending with a chain one, and I will join to the first double crochet here with a slip stitch. Now, for, and you should have for round A, you should have 36 double crochet and 54 single crochet. And now for round nine, I'm gonna start with a chain one, and I'm going to be doing a round of single crochet. So I'm gonna start with a single crochet in each of the stitches and chain spaces across this shell. So here I'm going to start in the double crochet. I'm going to make a single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet in the chain one space. And then single crochet in the double crochet. You might need to move over your stitch a little bit to see the top loops of the next double crochet. And then continue across working a single crochet in the chain one space and in each stitch until you get to the last double crochet of this little section here. And here I have the last double crochet here. So you should have 11 single crochet across this shell and now I'm going to chain one and I will skip this chain one space and skip the next two single crochet and then single crochet in the next five so I'm skipping the chain one skip skip starting here single crochet in the next five And then here's five. 
and then I will chain one. And now again, I'm gonna skip these last two, single crochet here, so skip, skip. I will skip the chain one space, and then I'm going to single crochet in the double crochet. And then again, single crochet and then chain one space, and each um, double crochet and chain one space across this shell. my last chain one space and then the last double crochet there so again I should have 11 single crochet across that the top of that shell now I will chain one skip this chain one space here skip the next two single crochet and then single crochet in the next five And then chain one and this will be the repeat for round nine so you will single crochet in each double crochet and chain one space across the shell chain one skip the next two single crochet single crochet in five and then skip those last two in this section here and chain one and repeat this section all the way around for round nine. So here I have finished round nine and in round nine you should have 96 single crochet. So now in round 10 and I ended my round with this chain one space here and I'm going to join to the first single crochet of the round with a slip stitch. Now for round 10 we're going to start with a chain two and we're going to have a kind of variety of stitches in here because we're going to be going to evening out this circle to give it more of a round shape and even out some of these dips and valleys in there. I'm going to start with two half double crochet. So I'm going to half double crochet in the first two stitches, starting in the same stitch as my join. So I'll yarn over and insert my hook into that same stitch, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three. I'm going to make two half double crochet, so half double crochet in the first two stitches, and then I will single crochet in the next seven. Six and seven and now I have two stitches left over here on the other side of my shell I will half double crochet in the next two and now I will chain one and in this chain one space here double crochet chain one Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and then double crochet in this chain one space. And chain one. So this here will be your repeat for round 10. So we'll repeat it one more time. So we're gonna do those two half double crochets, single crochet in seven, and then, sing, and then half double crochet in two, chain one, double crochet alternating and skipping those stitches across here, and then ending with that chain one. So we're gonna do that one more time. So here I'm to this next shell section where I will do two half double crochet, half double crochet in the next two stitches and now single crochet in the next seven and here's seven And then I will half double crochet in the next two here.
and now I will chain one. And here I'm to that chain one space. I'm going to double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the chain one space. And then chain one. So go ahead and repeat this section all the way around for round 10. So here I have it finished round 10 and I'm ending with that chain one and I will join to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. And for round 10, you should have 42 single crochet, 24 half double crochet, and 24 double crochet. And you could see how we kind of just rounded out this circle. So now for round 11, we are just going to do a round of double crochet and chain one spaces. I'm going to start with a chain two and then double crochet in the same stitch. And now I will chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next. I'm going to be repeating this all the way around, including those chain one spaces. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. So here we've gone across these single crochet and half double crochets, and now we're to the chain one double crochets. So I'm going to continue this. I'm going to skip all these chain spaces and just double crochet in the double crochets. I'm going to chain one, skip this chain one space, and double crochet in the double crochet. Chain one, skip this chain one space, and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next, and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next, double crochet in the next. And chain one, and here I have the last chain one space, so skip that chain one space, and double crochet in the half double crochet. And we are going to repeat this all the way around for round 11. So here I have completed round 11. I have 60 double crochet in round 11. And I ended with this chain one. We'll join to the first double crochet here with a slip stitch. And now we are finished with this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this color. And pull that through. And I will join my next color to a chain one space. So now I'm ready to join my next color. This is the next color I'm going to be using. So I'm going to join my color to a chain one space. It could be any chain one space around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do this first one right here. Take my yarn and pull it through. And we are going to be doing a round of B stitches in each chain one space. So here I'm in my chain one space. We'll start with a chain two. And I will B stitch in this chain one space. So I'm going to double crochet. Chain one. And double crochet in that same space. For a V stitch. So I will repeat that all the way around. So again, here's my next chain one space. I will be stitch in this chain one space. So double crochet, chain one, 
and then double crochet again in that same space. And I will repeat that all the way around for round 12. So in each chain one space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So here I have round 12 and I have 60 V stitches for round 12. And I will join to my first double crochet here with a slip stitch. And now for round 13, I want to start in my chain one space. So I'm going to slip stitch over to this chain one space here to begin my next round. And I'm going to chain two. And now I'm going to double crochet in this chain one space. And in this round, we're only going to be working in the chain one spaces of each V stitch around. So now after my first double crochet, I will chain one. And I will skip the next V stitch. I'm going to be working in this V stitch here. I'm going to be doing six double crochet with chain one spaces in between. So I'm going to be making a shell here in this next V stitch. So skip the next and double crochet in the next V stitch. Chain one and double crochet. And repeat that until you have six double crochet. Here I have six double crochet in that chain one space with chain ones in between each double crochet. And now I will chain one, I will skip the next V stitch and double crochet in the next. This is my repeat around for round 13. So again, I will chain one. And then skip the next V stitch and six double crochet and chain one in the next. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then another chain one. And this here is my pattern repeat for round 13. So continue repeating this around where you'll do one double crochet and a V stitch, chain one, skip a V stitch, and then create this shell here in the next V stitch, ending with a chain one. So here I have repeated that all the way around for round 13. I have 105 double crochet for round 13. And I ended with a chain one, and now I will join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. And now for round 14, I'm going to start with a chain one, and I will double crochet in, I'm sorry, I'm going to single crochet in this first double crochet. I'm going to single crochet here, and I will chain one. And now I'm going to front post double crochet in this next double crochet. So yarn over and insert your hook around the entire post of the next double crochet. Pull up a loop and finish up that double crochet. And now I will single crochet in the chain one space in between the next two stitches. So here in this space, single crochet. Now front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And then single crochet in the chain one space. Front post double crochet in the next double crochet. Single crochet in the chain one space. And then a front post double crochet here. Single crochet in the chain one space. Front post double crochet here.
And then I have one more chain one space where I will single crochet. And then I will have one more front post double crochet here. And then now I will skip this chain one space. I will chain one, skip the chain one space, and single crochet in the double crochet. And then chain one. And I'm going to be repeating this around. So now I'm here to the next shell again where I will front post double crochet in each double crochet and then single crochet in each chain one space across this shell. So my front post double crochet here in the first stitch and then single crochet in the chain one space and repeat that across doing one front post double crochet in each double crochet and then single crochet in that chain one space. Here's my last chain one space right here, and then my last front post double crochet and chain one. So here is your pattern repeat for round 14. So chain one, single crochet in the double crochet, chain one, and then do those front post double crochets on each double crochet and single crochet in each chain one space and repeat this all the way around. So here I have finished round 14 and I have 90 single crochet and 90 double crochet around for round 14. I ended with this chain one here and I will join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And now for round 15, I want to start in the first front post double crochet. So I'm going to slip stitch over to the first front post double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch in this chain one space. And then slip stitch to the first front post double crochet here. And now I will start with a chain two. And I'm going to front post double crochet around the front post from the previous row. So here I have my front post double crochet. And then next, I will single crochet in the single crochet. And I will repeat that across here, across this shell. So front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. And then single crochet in the single crochet. Continue working that front post double crochet in the front post double crochet and single crochet in the single crochet. Here I have one more front post double crochet. And there you have this is going to be the pattern repeat here for round 15. So now I'm going to skip this chain one. I'm going to skip the single crochet and I will skip the next chain one and I'm going to front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. It's going to look like this. So you're just skipping over this whole section and just working on the next shell. So now single crochet in the single crochet and then repeat that across this shell here. I'm 
And then here is my last front post double crochet on this shell. So you're going to repeat that all the way around, just skipping over these chain one, single crochet chain one spaces here. Skip over that and just continue repeating your front post double crochet in the front post and then single crochet in the single crochet. And repeat that all the way around for round 15. So here I have finished round 15 and I have 90 double crochet and 75 single crochet here in round 15. I ended with that last front post double crochet here and I will join to the first front post double crochet with a slip stitch. So now for round 16, I want to start in this first single crochet here. So I'm gonna slip stitch over to the single crochet and I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna single crochet in the single crochet. And I'm gonna to, going to kind of um, repeat what the last round was and I will front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. And then again, single crochet in the single crochet. Front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. Single crochet in the single crochet. And I'm going to repeat this for a total of four front post double crochets. So here I'm going to do one more front post double crochet. And then I will single crochet in the single crochet. Now for the next front post double crochet, I'm going to insert my hook around both the next two double crochets here. I'm going to turn both of these into one. So I'm going to insert my hook here and here. I'm going around the entire post of the next two stitches. So this one and this one I'm going to grab and I'm going to yarn over, oops, yarn over first, then insert my hook underneath both those. There we go. Yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So there I grabbed both of these front post double crochets for my next stitch. And now I will single crochet in the single crochet. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around, working the front post double crochet around the front post and single crochet in the single crochet for a total of four repeats. Here's three. And one more here. And then now I will single crochet in this last single crochet here. And then for my next front post double crochet, I'm going to work that around the next two stitches. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook around the next post and the one after that. So I have two posts on my hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and work that double crochet. So repeat that all the way around starting with a single crochet in the single crochet, then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. Repeat that four times, one, two, three, four, and then single crochet in the next, and then do that front post double crochet around the next two stitches, and repeat that all the way around for round 16. So here I have ended round 16 with that last front post double crochet around those last two stitches. And I will join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. So here for round 16, you should have 75 double crochet and 75 single crochet. And that is actually it for this color. I'm going to go ahead and snip off the end of that one and pull it through. And this is also the end of part one. And that is it for this week for our crochet along for the Mandala Summer Cardigan. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week for part two.